Starlink's unique offering has made it a suitable commercial backup connection for some circumstances. Okay, so let's look at this cool bit of tech. This is the Starlink High Performance model. We have a requirement to get one of these installed where there is limited physical connectivity. You could be on an island, you could be in the middle of a farm, maybe even resiliency, like if your lease line has to go across one specific road or a bridge and you just can't get access anywhere else, or you're gonna be paying hundreds of thousands of pounds in excessive construction charges to dig up a mile of road. This, you can just order it, you'll have it There's within a delivery. couple of days. It's a Thank really you. robust DSL line that you can spin up anywhere and then you just plug it in and point it at the sky and you've got internet. It's amazing. Few negatives, you don't get a static IP address. You can get a public IP address if you have the high performance business option, but that isn't your IP address. So this IP will change. So you probably wouldn't be able to run a full business off it because you might need to allow your business out to X website or in through like a specific thing to your web server. There's many reasons why you would probably want to have a static IP as a business. But yeah, as, as far as having a backup line so the office could run, if there was an issue with your lease line and again, the, think about excessive construction charges, anything that would inhibit you getting a second lease line, this is quite an affordable option. Questions from the audience, uh, you sir. Is it a gimmick? It's not, literally our use case and the reason we've got it isn't a gimmick. The, the benefit is you can spin it up anywhere there is a satellite above your head. And also it can move. You just need to go where there is sky. Something also really interesting about this is, I can actually feel the heat on this right now as well. These can operate at very low temperatures. It can operate down to, I think it's minus 30. I wouldn't want to push it that far, but we shouldn't expect to see that in the UK anytime soon. And it will melt snow for you. So you don't have to worry about going out and scooping the snow off. It can melt up to about one and a half inches an hour, which is a lot, obviously. Four centimeters if you want it in metric. Um, but yeah, so you can operate it really cold. It can go up to 50 degrees Celsius. So it can survive a British summer, most North American summers. So. Just check the spec sheet, make sure it works for your climate. But where we are, where rain is the biggest problem, and this is at least the IP rating that we need, perfect.